Welcome back everyone. This is uh, Computer Science 0478 or uh, 2210 for the IGCC or the O level. And uh, uh, this is the pre release material pseudocode solution of uh, session May, June to, uh, 2021 for paper 2 variant 1. In this session here, we are going to uh, go through the solution of, uh, uh, of the pre release material. Uh, on task one okay uh, let's uh, recall what are the requirements of uh, task one if you didn't watch the previous uh, videos I'm recommending to uh, stop this video and start watching from the beginning to know what's going on there and you have another option here to uh, read to read the pre-release material itself to uh, understand uh, the whole concept of the uh, pre-release material requirements okay so together we are going here to just recall what's uh, what are the requirements of the task one uh, it's setting up the voting system to allow a tutor group to, to elect a representative write a program to allow the tutor to uh, enter the name of the tutor group the second requirement here is to allow the tutor to enter the number of students in the tutor group and then the third one is to allow the tutor to enter the number of candidates in the election, maximum of four candidates. This is very important when you are doing uh, validation for the input. And then the next one here is to allow the tutor to enter the, num the names of the candidates and store them in a suitable data structure. And then here allow each student to input their vote uh, or to abstain. And then the last one here is to count the votes for each candidate and student abstentions. Okay, after you uh, uh, take all of these inputs, allow the tutor to input all of these things and do some uh, counting here. So when all students have voted, display the name. You need to display out to print out the name of the tutor group. Let's say, for example, 8A, 8B, 8C, 9A, 9B, whatever. And then the votes for each candidate and the name of the candidate who has won the election. Okay, this is the first uh, uh, thing that you need to do. In the other situation here, if there is a tie for first place, that means more than two or more uh, like uh, students uh, are equal and has they have an uh, equal number of votes, then display all the candidates which uh, have the equal highest number of votes. We explained this in the previous video, how to uh, uh, to prompt the user, okay? And in this video here, we're going to do one by one, one bullet point, okay? The, the first one here is to allow the tutor to enter the name of the tutor group. Okay, how to do this since you are here at the beginning setting up the voting system. Okay, so to allow the tutor here to enter the name of the tutor, you must prompt the user. At the beginning, you must prompt the user. How to prompt the user? By showing uh, an output message here. I'm using here a print statement. You can use, for example, output. You can use also display. All of them are, uh, are correct. So I'm using... I prefer to use print here and to be consistent uh, through the solution. So print and then between the uh, uh, double quotations here, enter the name of the tutor group. So the message should be uh, like meaningful and it should uh, be clear. And then after this, the user is going to input uh, the tutor group name. So that's why here I'm using also another statement, which is input or also you can use a statement as read, okay? I prefer to use input here, and then a variable which is uh, meaningful, since this is a very important part when you are using variables, it should be meaningful. And the tutor group name here is the, uh, the name of the variable I've chosen to, I've chose, chose, uh, to be like. Uh, this is the variable name that uh, I selected to be as the tutor group uh, name okay make sure that when you are using a variable like this you declare this variable before using how to declare a variable this is very simple just write down the keyword declare 
and then the variable name and then column or two dots or instead of the two dots you can use also as and then string here is the data type okay this is a very uh, important thing and because some questions at the beginning will ask you about what are the variables that you have used what are the data types so the, the variable name here is tutor group name and this is how to declare it and the data type is a string a string means a group of character because this variable consider this as a container okay which is going to receive the tutor group name okay let's say for, let's say for example 7a 7b uh, 7 etc 8 uh, 8a 8b 8c etc 9 whatever the uh, the group uh, name okay so it has to be a string what is the purpose of this variable this is the purpose of the variable here i wrote this in a green color okay so this is just a comment to store the name of each group for example 8b okay so uh, this is one of the questions that might appear in the uh, exam what are the variables that you have used and what is the purpose of each vari variable What's the data type of the variable? Okay, the variable name here is the tutor group name. The data type is a string. And the use of this variable is to store the name of the group. Okay, of each group. Okay, here I'm prompting. Here I'm, I'm receiving the user uh, uh, input. Okay, so this is the first point here of uh, allowing the tutor to enter the name of the tutor group. This is the first point here. Now, the second point, allow the tutor to enter the number of students in each group. How to do this? Also, you should allow the tutor to enter the, the number of students. How to do this? Also, by prompting the user, prompting the tutor. How to prompt? Don't forget this. To show him a message, like a print on the screen, to display on the screen, this message. Enter the number, the number of students in the tutor group and the, the number of students in the tutor group. This is a very clear output message and you will be awarded one mark if the question is asking about to prompt the user in a clear way. Okay, what is expected when you ask the user to input the number of students? It's expected to input the number of students. Okay, so input number of students in group. Although this name, this name appears to be long, but uh, uh, it's okay. The number is very meaningful also. Make sure that you don't have any spaces when you are uh, using a variable. Input, okay, number of students in group. Since I, I have I've used this variable to store the number of students in the tutor group, also I need to declare this at the beginning also. So, uh, but before this, uh, we need to uh, validate the input. How to validate the input? It says here that uh, the tutor group is ranged between 28 and 35. It's ranged between 28 and 35. So in case that it's the, the if this number, let's say for example he did input 26. Okay, this should be invalid. How to check that? How to validate by using if condition if number of students in group is less than 28, which is 26 here in our situation, or number of students in the group is greater than 34, 35, which also should not be allowed, then display on the screen, print invalid number of students in the tutor group, try again, and then don't forget to close this by the end of, okay? Okay, so since here it's asking you to try again, so it should not uh, allow you to proceed until you input the number of uh, students in the group. To do this, we might, new, might use here a loop, loop structure. A loop structure by using repeat until, repeat until. Okay, repeat and yeah, yeah, do these, all of these statements, repeat all of these until number of students is greater than or equal to 28 and number of students in a uh, group is less than or equal to 35. So let's say that this is a number line, okay? The students that the number of students in a group should be between 30, uh, 28 and 35. If it's less than this, it should not be accepted. If it's greater than this, it should not be accepted. Okay, only the range between 
28 and 35 should be accepted as you notice here i wrote and because this is a range between 28 and 35 and as you noticed here i wrote or because less than 28 the value could be 26 or could be uh, greater than 35 it cannot be less than and greater than at the same time so that's why i wrote or uh, here i wrote and because it's in between the two variables because it could be uh, could be for example 29 29 is greater than 28 and at the same time it's less than uh, 35 okay so this will keep repeating uh, the input one after uh, another uh, okay if you didn't input the correct value between 28 and 35 okay uh, on the this is uh, everything for the first two steps in the next video i forget something here because uh, uh, the, just you need to declare uh, i forgot some something here you need to mention there's something here that very important and you need to mention which is how to declare also the number of students in group also declare number of students in group uh, as integer integer means it's receiving only whole number okay because this is a whole number it shouldn't receive any uh, decimal points and what is the purpose of this variable is to store the number of students in each group okay that's all for this uh, uh, two uh, bullet points of task one. And on the next video, we are going to continue uh, the third point on the uh, task one. See you there.